everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our month ahead to see what's in store for the month of May. Now, uh, this might get interesting, so buckle up and we'll see what happens. But uh, I've got some interesting stuff that I've been shown. Okay, first, first let me get into some things that I was picking up on when I sat down to look at them at the head and I get in my little notebook here. So when I was looking at our month ahead intuitively before pulling up any cards, um, <clears throat> I got something about gathering, gathering. I saw gatherings, standing armies, people being gathered, whether it's in groups, uh, like I said, armies, people, but the focus is on gathering, getting ready, preparing. Now, I don't know if it means that those gatherings will result in anything, but the emphasis is on gathering things together, gathering people, okay, for specific causes. Um, I heard preparing. I heard a call out for help goes terribly wrong. So I'm not sure what that is, but I also heard it wasn't supposed to end this way. Um, these are things I was picking up on just as I was meditating and hearing about this month. I heard something about a possible military exercise, um, maybe like a crash of a of a, like a military jet or possible something along that something might go wrong with a training exercise or something perhaps with those gatherings okay um i got then i heard no fly zone training exercise i heard standing armies again okay so now next and again, sorry, I don't have anything more like specific, but those are just the energies and things I was feeling. Um, okay, so next I have, um, so I was drawn in my mind to Northern California and to like a, a national park there. And I heard, I felt like something rumbling under my feet. It was almost imperceptible um, it was like, you know, if you were standing there, you might not hear it, but it was like I felt the earth underneath was doing something. There's motion. There's things going on inside the earth in that area. Um, what I heard is rumblings of an awakening volcano, and I heard the time is not yet. So I don't sense it's like, you know, this isn't like going to blow its top or anything like that. Um, I heard something, I think I heard Long Valley Caldera is waking up, but the time is not yet. So it's not like, don't worry, you know, it's not going to blow its lid, okay. But there's something about the earth in that area waking up. Um, I got something about the smell of sulfur in the mountains, possibly, and something odd about plant life. Now, I don't know what this is, so any of you botanists out there, Maybe you could weigh in on the comments, but I'll just tell you the sense what I was sensing about this. When there is volcanic activity in the earth, there's some change in plant life that is a little tiny clue. And I don't think it's like something that's, that's big and maybe even well known, but a slight change in plant life when there's volcanic activity starting up again in an area. So whether it's small plants um, dying off or maybe new plant growth that they, they that's growing that they haven't seen in a while, this could be volcanic related and maybe people haven't connected those dots before, um, but it's something to do with the nutrients in the soil that are changing and possibly causing either new plant life to grow or maybe plants to die in certain areas, okay? Um, I got smell of sulfur, long valley is what I heard. Pressure is building, okay, that's what I heard. I also heard in this area um, a bumper crop for grapes. 
So vineyards in the area may see something. I, I just saw something about their purple grapes doing really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Perhaps a bumper crop. <laughs> drink, drink of water. Perhaps a bumper crop. Grapes, wine. I know there are vineyards in that area. Um, then I was taken down to L.A. So California kind of dominated my thoughts for some reason. I tried to go over, you know, across the rest of the country. And I was drawn back to California. Down this time in so Southern California near Los Angeles. And I got something about a scandal. A cheating scandal in Hollywood. Something about B-list. I heard B-list and A-list. And something about cheating. So I have have no idea really what that is because I I didn't really get what it was but some type of cheating so maybe something's going to be exposed and uh, so look for that possible something with the B list or a list or maybe people being cheated out of status or something like that okay all right okay so Next, I went ahead and pulled the cards. I wrote out a spread, uh, just kind of covering our month ahead. So I'm just going to say something here. Um, normally, I wouldn't come out with such a bold statement. Um, but there's something that came through in the cards that I just, it was just strong feeling. And I sat with it and I thought, okay, so... I thought, I need to clarify this, and I'll tell you what it is in a minute. So what I did to clarify was I took another deck, because I'd already laid out cards with this, my cat deck, took another deck, and I asked, you guys aren't going to believe this, and if you don't believe me, you don't believe me, because I didn't record this part, so I have no way to prove to you, but other than give you my word that this is what happened. I pulled my Gilded Tarot Royale deck and I asked three times to clarify this question. I shuffled up the cards, shuffle, 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 okay? I shuffled, I swear I shuffled. I shuffled three different times asking to clarify what I was sensing and three times Three, I've never had this happen. I pulled the same two cards three times after shuffling and shuffling and shuffling. So I'm just gonna have to say, I'll just say what I'm gonna say here in a minute. And you can believe me, you can not believe me, I don't really care. Uh, you can take it with a grain of salt. If it comes to pass, then that's what it is. The other thing that also came up when I shuffle, 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 and three three separate times I get the same two cards, I also had the same bottom card all three times. That just doesn't happen. So to me, that was confirming what I'm sensing. All right, here's what I sensed. The first card out is in the news, okay? Now we have the death card come out on that. Now, what I always tell you in, in my readings, whenever I see the death card, is death in tarot does not necessarily mean literal death. It means radical change or shift or transformative change. But when I turned that over, I could not help but feel literal death. Okay, death. I don't think it's figurative. I think it's literal. And that's what I was clarifying. Um... It could be related to someone in politics, okay? Someone specific. Possibly someone with the initials JB, okay? When I asked, is it JB, I got this card. And this is the Six of Cups. It is a, I mean, this the. When you ask a direct question, yes or no, you know, is it this person? You get this positive card. And then I ask, is it someone else? And I get this kind of fighting negative card. 
I took that as a positive yes and a negative for no, okay? And underneath, I got the Hierophant upside down, the High Priest upside down. When I asked, is it JB, again, three times I asked, three times I got the same cards, the same two cards. Is it him? Is it someone else? Yes on him, no on someone else. Now, I don't know, guys. Maybe this month will come and go, and you'll look back and go, well, she got that wrong. I don't know. But to me, I, that's beyond coincidence, okay? Three times, I, I shuffled. I swear, I shuffled. So, I don't know, guys, what's going to happen. But in politics, I've got the, a fire king. Something about the... I always sense with this, like, leadership with the president. That's... That's what I see when, when I get that card, and it happens to be on politics. So in the news, we have death. In politics, it, the focus is on the king, the president. All right, behind the scenes, I've got the Eight of Earth. Now, this is uh, interesting that this card is set at nighttime, and the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Earth, is about working on projects, getting things going, moving ahead, working, hard at work. And it feels like there are things happening behind the scenes. There's things that are being worked out, worked on, projects, things, things are happening behind the scenes. And it feels like that, that it's done very stealthily because this card, it has a nighttime feature about it. So it's like, Things done under cover of darkness. Things done at night. Things done that we don't see. That are happening. Okay. The next question I had was regarding pandemic news. And I've got the five of fire. The five of fire. Um, this is a card of conflict. Fighting. Um basically just that so news regarding a pandemic and we've got the fighting card i'm wondering if it's going to heat up things are going to heat up possibly with unrest maybe between factions it's it seems like we're being pushed by the media and by those in so-called authority that are pitting us against each other. We, we've always had this race baiting that's been going on, but it almost feels like now we're being vax baited. Vax baited? <laughs> I just made up a term. But anyway, you know what I mean? It's like, it's the, the, va the you know, va black against white, and now it's vaxed against the unvaxed. And this card of fighting on pandemic news makes me think of that. That there may be some infighting, people fighting over, over that. Maybe people fighting against what they perceive as tyranny. You know, we don't want the vaccine passports or things in the news regarding the pandemic is going to be cause for fighting for some reason. That's the energy of it. Struggle, okay? What's moving into the past... I've got this aggressive card here, the Sky Tom. This is the Knight of Swords. Now, when I saw this card, if this is moving into the past and this cat reaching for that bird and it's just out of its grasp and the dark clouds behind the cat, it feels like this something aggressive that is trying to take over or steal something innocent or work through the powers of dark something about that is actually moving into the background which is actually a good thing so there may be something regarding that that is positive now on the horizon <clears throat> moving forward so the future position on the horizon, I've got this card. 
This is called Consequences. This is the Justice card in tarot. And when I saw this, I'm thinking something about the details. Something in the details is coming out. And looking at the, the artwork again, I'll show it to you, this cat with the ball of yarn. What I felt was the details are going to cause things to unravel. There's something unraveling in the details, in the little things, but it's going to cause the whole thing to unravel. It's like pulling one little string, one little thread that unravels the whole garment. That's what's happening. And that's coming up, okay, a little bit into the future. But that may be starting this month or starting to unravel this month, okay. And I don't know if that has something to do with Arizona, what's going on down there, but the details, the devil's in the details and things are unraveling. And so the next is what, so we're talking about the path forward, things unraveling. What is the help? What's going to help with that? Um, got a really positive card, the ace. This is a strong card of creative energy. Things opening up, creative endeavors. A path forward is just, it's like the way is opening up. Something is opening up. So the energy underneath this month, for the month of May, is the Hermit card. This is a card of looking within, introspection, going deep, looking for the root cause, seeing what's really happening underneath, and not just taking things at surface value, but looking deeper. And I love how this cat in this deck, the tail points down into that hole. It's like, that's where things are at. Down in the earth, down deep. Things aren't always on the surface. There's a lot to be uncovered. And having this consequences with things unraveling to me felt very strong along with that death card. So I'm going to leave that here for this month. I think I've said a mouthful. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I've never seen a card, two cards, the same cards come up three times after shuffling three times in a row. That just blew me away. So I've never seen that. You tell me if, if, if any of you have ever had something like that happen. I didn't want to tempt fate and try it a fourth time. I'm like, okay, I get the message. <laughs> all right, I got gotcha you here. That's bizarre. Okay, all right, enough of that. So uh, we'll see what happens, guys. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.